Hi, I'm Erin Watipka, and I have the honor of taking you down the Turtle Wing Memory Lane to the year 2017. But first, let me show you how I got here, as the wife, mom, friend, and teacher I am today, all because of a little boy named Jack. In 2005, I was working at Whispering Hills, and I met the cutest little family, the Hoopers. I worked with both Jack and Will, who were five and three at the time, and as a new teacher, I was relatively new to the world of autism, but I was fascinated and eager to learn all that I could. Jack was smart, and he had a lot of language. We worked mostly on social skills and helping him manage his own emotions. He was always positive and always saw the best in every person he met. He taught me so much, probably way more than I ever taught him. Over the years, this family had taken up a huge part of my heart, so when Jack unexpectedly passed away in April 2011, it was tragic. Deanne taught me, through her journey, that you have to walk by faith, not by sight. She was heartbroken, but she listened to what God put on her heart, and she brought her idea of starting a nonprofit to Louisa and me, and within four months after Jack's passing, she was a 501c3. I called my brother-in-law, who did graphic design, and within a few weeks, we had a logo and a website in the works. Up next was our big event, the annual Derby fundraiser that we hosted the following April. I sat on the Derby committee and was in charge of the 5K, and we welcomed around 175 runners to this event. People loved it and wanted more. So that fall, I had an idea to throw a Halloween theme party for families to celebrate Jack's favorite holiday, Halloween. Kim Walborn helped me organize and pull off the first annual Monster Dash event. It's been so much fun to see people celebrating over the years, and I've never thought six years later I'd be helping young adults with learning challenges build work skills through a food truck working at this event. We later added another fun run in the spring called the Worst Run that welcomed locals and out-of-towners visiting for the Sausage Fest. In 2014, I officially became a Turtle Wing board member, and I sat on the board for three years helping with program oversight. It was such an amazing experience. In 2016, I started helping Turtle Wing with marketing on social media and with crowdsourcing fundraisers like Giving Tuesday and Make Our Match campaign during Autism Awareness Month. And then in 2016, the foundation saw a need for parent support and I hosted our first mom's retreat with the help of Folk Wellness. And we continue to host retreats each year for moms, dads, and couples. And we're adding a retreat for siblings this coming year. Finally, this brings us to 2017. I was working with a former student of mine who was now aged out of school. I had come full circle. More and more of my first students I taught were now 23 and had nowhere to go. This is when I followed Deanne's footsteps. I leaned in and I led by faith, not by sight, and I stepped down from the board and I started and then a new day. In October 2017, we officially became a Turtle Wing provider working to help young adults with learning challenges find a meaningful purpose in life. We were off and running, and with the help of my amazing husband, we threw together the Happy Camper in two short weeks so that we could host our first town event, a smoothie pop-up shop. It was our first start-to-finish product workshop where we offered the community, and boy, did they support us. It was simply amazing, and the kids did awesome. We offer social meetups and outings where we work on social skills and making true social connections with peers. We offer life skills trainings and practice basic independent living skills in natural settings. In 2018, I had an idea of what if I had a place where young adults could work and learn and socialize with typical people. And that's when Jack and Mary's was born. The heart and soul behind this place was created from the friendship of Jack and Mary, so it was only fitting the place would be named after them. So after some fundraising, the building went under construction. In October, we had our grand opening of the yard. We now have a facility that offers a day program in the back where we have jobs and tasks to do on site and off site in businesses within our community. And we have work opportunities in the front. Our recycling program has expanded to more people and businesses enrolled, and we've added more programs that focus on gardening, making goods, canning, and moving our bodies. Our goods that we make are offered for sale in the front, and all of the sales help us continue our mission for helping more young adults. Our latest program is an entrepreneurial concept where we find that one thing that the young adult is good at and help them share it with the rest of the world. We can't wait to launch Eleanor's new line of her artwork. 
We are so very grateful for the support of Turtle Wing Foundation and for them allowing us to be a part of their amazing journey. On a personal note, I can't thank the Hooper family enough for sharing their Jack with me and truly changing my life. Because of him and God's plan of having our paths cross, I can honestly say I am where I need to be and doing what God meant for me. It's not always easy, and yes, it, a lot of times it's scary, but by walking by faith and not by sight like Deanne taught me, seeing these smiles make it all worth it.